Hi guys, it's time to talk about live streaming on Learning Electronics Repair. So, I know a lot of you will already be aware that I've been live streaming for a bit over a year with a couple of my very good friends, Detlef and Carlos, and that's on a channel called The Electronics Channel. We've been live streaming every second Sunday for a bit over a year now. And we've had a lot of fun on there. We've done a lot of really interesting things. I can show you some of the things we get up to on that channel in a moment. But the reason for this announcement is that we've decided to move or integrate the Electronics Channel live stream, which is every second Sunday at 5 p.m. UK time, into Learn Electronics Repair. Main reason for this is that basically because we're only streaming 26 times a year, two hours. Although we have plenty of subscribers on there, we can't get over this 4,000 watch hours limit. We have about 2,600 in a rolling 12 months window, but that will stay about the same. As you gain more watch hours outside of the 12 months window, you lose the ones from the start, if you see what I mean. So we basically can't monetize that channel. And unless we were streaming much more often, I don't see that changing none of us see that changing now we don't expect and never did expect to make a lot of money from the channel but we do for example buy from our own money stuff i get from the car boot sale old test equipment and such like junk old sultry hats and all sorts of things we've played with and cheap stuff from aliexpress so we have cheap chinese crap <laughs> and that's out of our own pocket that's all spending our own money to entertain you guys which is fine but what we thought is, if we bring the live stream onto my channel, which is monetized already, then the small amount which he earns, we can use that money to buy that stuff, yeah. So it kind of becomes a not-for-profit thing, you know. It's making a bit of money, and that's going into the buying the stuff that we've been paying for ourselves. And that means we can get even more cheap Chinese crap and such like, and entertain you guys even more, yeah. So that's the plan. So as from next Sunday, yes, I know it's Sunday tomorrow, if you're watching this video on the day I published it. So on Sunday the 25th of August, and onward every second Sunday, the live stream will be moving to this channel. That kind of opens the doors a little bit, because that means that now I have the setup available to use on my bench here. I may be inclined to do some more live streaming myself. Yeah, so you may see more. You may see more. But certainly the Electronics Channel live stream will continue every second Sunday. Okay, so as promised, here are a few extracts from the Electronics Channel to give you some idea what we get up to. And we get up to all sorts of things. So in this first one, we're playing around with a drone helicopter we got from AliExpress for less than five euros. How do you think this went? Would it fly? I don't know. Well, well, it says they triple A batteries. Yeah. And they, and they are. Yeah, they, they look, they look, the controller is so small, it, it tricks your vision. Okay. okay, there we go. So what should I crash into first? Uh, <laughs> well, because there, there's no way this is going to play. Oh, okay, it does Okay, there's two buttons. Okay, I'll turn it on. <laughs> I'll stand over here. Where's my helmet? Yeah. Well, you see, it did fly. In another episode, we actually strapped a camera onto that thing, which we also got from AliExpress for less than five euros, and had it flying around and actually got some video out of it, so you'd have to go back to the old archives. And they will stay there, by the way. They will stay there. So you can go back and watch them. Another video, so this is where we got a soldering iron from the car boot sale, yeah? 
can we micro solder with this? Well, the first problem we had was the cable wasn't long enough, so we had to fix that before we could try it. So here you go. Um, that's bigger than the chip. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you're getting every uh, on the next yeah, one. Yeah, you see, you get all the way to the ones So, I mean, you guys know how I choose a chunky solder, right? <laughs> so, okay, this is it. Yeah, a little extreme advice. I think, I think because I'm challenging these guys, I shall go first. Okay, uh, fine. Yeah, I'm going to go first. So you told me you would use the mic microscope. Now I don't have my lenses for it. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, 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 oh dear. <laughs> so let's see what we can do with this after yeah. today. Have we got a power socket where we can plug it in? Yeah, we, we uh, have one over there. Uh, I used to sucky uh, tools. Oh, we need My tools are really crap. <laughs> I buy the cheapest <laughs> shit that I can find, so uh, I should be good at this. <laughs> this comes with a really generous length of just flat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me a sec. Uh, can, can we plug that in somewhere? Uh -huh. uh, if I don't destroy the table before. Uh, okay, that won't oh. reach. Uh, when is it? Uh, okay, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you see the end of this? Go to the. Well, I've been loaded it, look, it's live. It's so thin. <laughs> Isn't this from, from the cupboard still? Yeah, this is. Yeah, I mean, these are not even parallel. Can I bend them? You should. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put them together. Oh my god. How do you use this? Th th that's a hazard. Uh, that yeah. <coughs> Can you spread the legs? <laughs> oh <my God>. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the quality form it was on the end of that. <coughs> What's the way like? Probably, yeah. I don't know. So, uh, let's give some tips here. Never do this. <laughs> <laughs> Trust super pain in the ass. Probably this is a... Uh... <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, we are going Wait, to... Uh, uh, we have to, have to show you this, guys. I have to show you this. <laughs> Jetlef said at the end of that 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 soldering iron was okay like if you had like a zombie apocalypse and what he meant was that like in the collapse of civilization if that's the only soldering iron you've got you could probably fix your radio transmitter or whatever you, you needed to do personally I thought it was better just for killing the zombies with you <laughs> uh, and everybody agreed so there you have it the zombie apocalypse soldering iron so the way I managed to extend the cable on that soldering iron in the end, having made the right pig's ear of it, was with this. So this is mine, it's a genuine 1970s or 80s safe block. So what we have in here, we have the mains cable coming in, okay? And you can see in the lid, there's a fuse, okay? And also down here, like a metal link. And that fits into these slots we see here. So, effectively, the mains is on the rear slots, but until you close the lid, there's no connection to the front slots, and they fasten onto these clips, okay? The earth is actually attached all the time. So, you clip your wires on there, you snap it shut, and once it's shut, you make the contact, but now you can't put your fingers in. So that thing is safe, that's why it's called a safe block. But at some point, these things seem to get discontinued like they were not safe blocks. So I decided to have a look online on AliExpress while making that live stream to see if I could find one of these. Yeah. A lot of viewers said they've seen pictures of them. I think everybody says they've never actually seen one in the flesh before. So this next excerpt, this is what happens when you go to search for something like safe block and AliExpress on a live stream. I have to modify the case because I got the case from Richard. Uh, that's from the 1990s. Yeah, something like that. It has a half of the book. What's it? Ada. Oh, oh, no, I, 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 I have just put safe block in the search term and now we express and this is what we've got to come and show them. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. Can we show them? So, <laughs> there's a second case here. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what I found. <laughs> Email bleaching. What? What? <laughs> I wanted to. Can you get, you get that, Dad? Well, yeah, it's on the, <laughs> yeah. it's on the stream that people have seen. 
<laughs> okay, so what? People like, are screaming at me. Oh, I'm you sent the two yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, what's up to do you? Maybe I removed it. <laughs> no, let me get, so, no, no. I need to get all of that. Oh. The, the anal bleaching thing. <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm, 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 what I'm doing is I'm actually pressing the wrong the bear. <laughs> Yeah, it's at the top. It's the first search results. So. Yeah. <laughs> anal bleaching. Safe block. Anal bleaching. <laughs> what? <laughs> is, is that why? <laughs> that, that's not even uh, an ad. It's actually, it's that's, 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 so he's asshole. That's a vegetable. Like, that's a like vegetable to me. I was just thinking of that because I was an asshole. So <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> what was that surprise? <laughs> That wasn't what I expected to find. And I agree with Carlos. That wasn't an ass. It was a vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, apart from those sort of things happening, we do some experiments. So this experiment one week was to see how much current we can get into a standard five millimetre LED before it burns out. And the answer surprised us all. So here you go. Let's have a look. A hundred and... And then if we go up, it gets darker, and it's the current's going up. Yeah, oh, much. watch the current, it's climbing. Oh, it's, it's stabilised at 150, so pull it just a little bit. Up or down? Up. Oh. And it gets dimmer? Mm. Yeah, but it climbs a little while, and then it plateaus. Okay. That's Again? Yeah, it climbs a little bit, and then it plateaus. Okay, and there it shot up quite drastically. Mike, you were looking for a reaction time, sir. No? So yeah. what are we up to now? I think current. Maybe this is a yeah. What's the score? Yeah. Maybe two hundred. If you're lucky, you you get a spike, I guess. At this point, right now it won't really dim it or brighten. Yeah, and it's almost out. Practically, it's almost out at the three hundred and twenty-six. And now it's failed. Yeah, and it failed. As, at what? Uh, about four hundred. About four hundred. And now it won't come back on. Yeah, yeah. no. Okay. So about four hundred. Let's try a different chord one. Can we light this now with high voltage? <laughs> uh, <laughs> make it bridge and have a cap inside. That's right. So, so about 400, so that's much higher than any of us. Okay, let's like see. So this is a blue one. Oh, wow. As soon as I get, what, what's, what's, what's the voltage now? Two. Two, two volts. And there, 2.4, and it turns off. Yeah. What, what's the current? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Zero. So actually. there's no current. But it's still lighting. No, there is a current there. Did we pause it or put it on hold? No, it shows zero. Did I put it on? The oh, they've turned it off. That, it that is zero at the bottom of the scale. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, I'll turn it off. There it jumped up. It, it didn't sink <laughs> properly, I'm guessing. I've turned it, damn it. Yeah, so zero. It, it's showing zero. Oh, no, one. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, varying the power, by the way. Yeah. One million. I don't have that. Normally, I go for one mil for my So what we got now? Yeah, and that, that's bright enough. <laughs> that was plenty bright. Right. <laughs> what 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 we up to now, Colin? Yeah, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. So we're quite low. Well. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, the blue LED is for a really big yeah. Yeah, exactly. Again. Twenty-two. Again. Let's get the point where it starts to dip. So now it's not. It's no good. 40, 50, 60, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, a bit more. 70, 80, 100. Okay, wait. Wait. 110, 120. Here's where the other one died. Well, they started to go dim it. Yeah. Oh, yes, they dimmed yep. the torch. And then we go a little higher. This is 150, so the, this is where the green okay. one oh, died. Oh, right there, died. Yeah. So it, 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 it's kind of gone. So if we come back down, it won't go any dimmer. I get to flick it a little bit. Let's go higher. Whoa. Oh, 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 did you see the little supernova there? Yeah, it, it, it's flared up. Yeah. Oh, there, there is a sweet spot where you can get it to arc. Yeah. There you go. There you are arcing it. Huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> supernova. And another feature we often have is just looking at or testing old vintage equipment. So we've had things like eight track tape players, these things before cassettes are out, you had them in the car. We've looked at valve car radios, old TVs, all sorts of things. 
One of the interesting things was a Russian piece of test equipment. This you've seen on my channel as well, but this is the original look at it on the live stream. Yeah, does anybody know what this is? Just give me a second. You are probably English. right about the oscilloscope part, considering the buttons. English. Uh -huh. XY mode oscilloscope. Generator, I told you. You're right. Because What's this say? Frequency. Frequency rough. Okay, and then you have the fine tuning. Frequency smooth. Yeah, so I'm guessing the, that the fine tuning. So this Pinoc, this Gnocchi, whatever, it's a uh, Gnocchi power. Uh, let's let's move this. Oh, 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 this way. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's power something. Power supply. Power unit. Yeah. Oh, so this is a so power supply. This is this is also the scope. Okay. Net. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got V1 and V2 plus and minus. Yeah. Do you know what I think this needs to go to somebody who's a specialist in this or who wants it? Yeah, uh, the, the, you can show it off on stream, yeah. of course, and uh, make people aware of it. These wafer switches. Look at the bus bars. Are these bus bars? Yeah, they they transfer power from one board to another. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah, they have the bus bars that go. So we should be able to get to the top, get a top off of the middle, we've got the other side. Yeah. yeah. You want to make the top left? Ah, there we go. We want to make the top, we want the other side. No, 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 that makes it really weird. Yeah. Oh, oh there's an IC. Yeah, there's a chip. There's a chip. 84. So it's, it's, it's not as old as I thought. 1984. You're joking. Look at this. The can't be. Oh, 584. Is that a date code, really? Yeah, but I mean, chips didn't come out really until the 70s. So this is not the foul thing like that. This is 0484. Yeah. Wow. How, but why is it built so properly? <laughs> it's <laughs> Russian design, yeah. man. <laughs> it's Soviet. It's Soviet, Soviet, Soviet design, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you probably also spotted back in the video when we we're doing the LEDs, we were using a piece of test equipment that I reviewed the same week. So again, Things that get reviewed on my channel often then turn up on the next live stream. We can play around with them some more. So I hope you enjoyed that look at what we have. I hope you're happy to know that that now is coming to Learning Electronics Repair. So starting from the 24th of August, 5 p.m. London time for two hours, you're welcome to join us. Bring your own beer or coffee. And see you there with my friends Detlef and Carlos. Ciao for now, guys.